What's up, guys? Happy summertime. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Happy summertime. Welcome to episode one of the series where, in a laid back format, I'm going to be taking you from beginner to pro and making beats specifically in Logic Pro. If you use any other software, this will hopefully be helpful too because I'm going to talk through concepts all while doing it in a laid back vlog style format. Hopefully it's relaxing to watch because there's plenty of tutorials out there. Let's be, let's be real. There's lots of, lots of places that you can learn information from. And this series is hopefully going to be a place that you can come, you can relax. So grab a snack or something. This will be a little bit longer form, less editing from me, which is a blessing for me. I will, I will admit editing takes a lot of work. Um, but hopefully you're going to learn something through all this and have a good time while doing it and improve your skills as a music producer. Let's get into it. We'll be back here later tonight. Um, I got to fix some stuff with this car, honestly. It's a, it's a beater car for sure. The time is currently at 2 p.m. Basically had a restful morning. Today is a day off, kind of, and... So, um, yeah, we took the morning restfully, and now I'm currently heading to the gym. Then we're going to go back and make some music, learn some things together. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to have to put you down because there's no way you're going to stay alive right now. So. All right, switching to the phone video. This actually looks better than my professional camera anyway, so we'll just stick here. We'll stick it to this. So episode one, what are we talking about? We're gonna talk about the very bare essentials um, as we're getting into making music. All the technical things, the different ways that there are to create music. We're gonna be talking about those things. Very basic beginner level stuff. And the foundation, we're gonna lay the foundation to unpack in future videos moving forward so super excited for that guys all right let's get into the gym just wrapped up at the gym good place good people all right we're showered feeling fresh time to go into tutorial mode so on your computer you have logic pro click on it Step one, click on Logic Pro. It'll load up. And at the startup meta menu, at the startup, it's gonna ask you what you want to do. And you'll have some options to do. If this doesn't pop up for some reason, as soon as it's opened, you can see that's open by this little icon here. You're gonna go up to the top, go file, and then you're gonna hit new or new from template. I would just go new though for the tutorial, just create a new track. So we're gonna create a new empty project in my case. Press okay. And now right away we have an option to create a couple different types of tracks in here. Your two main types of tracks that you use in any software, not just Logic Pro, but GarageBand, Ableton, uh, Pro Tools, anywhere is an audio track or a MIDI track. An audio track is recording Things like recording through a microphone, I've got a microphone here, um, or even a guitar if you have a little audio interface or something like I've got. Those are audio tracks and things that you'll use this for. And then you have your MIDI as well. And MIDI is the easy one that no matter what, even if you just have a laptop, you don't even have a microphone, you don't have any other equipment except your computer, MIDI track will get you started off just fine. Um, Within MIDI track, you can, of course, you can create an empty channel strip. Let's just do that. It's kind of easier to do that. And then your audio output is going to be set to whatever you've got. You can set it to whatever you need. Uh, the device I'm using is my audio interface. So you might not have an audio interface. That's fine. If you just have headphones, just set it to headphones. Honestly, whatever works for you. Click create. We've got this instrument one. Right over here, you should see this menu. It might look a little confusing at first. I'm gonna close these things on the top. 
um, just so that we have the most simple view. Uh, right in here, think of this like your canvas, okay? Um, this thing that I'm dragging, it really keeps the time. It shows you where you're at in the project. And then when you hit the space bar, it's gonna play from that point. You have a little record button where it'll count you in. Count in button is right here. And then you've got a metronome if you wanna click to be able to hear what you're doing. This is your canvas. This is what you're painting with. Over here, your instrument's gonna be over here that you're gonna record with on this uh, project area in here. Soon, it's gonna be filled in with all the tracks that we create from today's little music making session. So over to the top left, you have a couple menus. This folder menu looking thing here is where you're gonna select an instrument. So go ahead and click on that. And over here, you've got a variety of all your built-in Logic Pro instruments. And if you're just starting out, this is tutorials. You can really, I would start with some of the presets that they have in here. So they've got a bunch of synth presets in here. Um, and they have got just a bunch of, you know, massive library of all sorts of sounds, some good, some bad. And you really have to just mess around, experiment, see what you like. Um, so let's just click on one. Boom, subtle friction pad. Now you're probably wondering, okay, how do I actually play this? That's a really great question. There are a couple of different ways you can do this. I like to play out the notes. So if you have a piano background or just like to physically play out what you want to hear, you can press command K or you can go to window and you can click on something. Show musical, show keyboard, I think or musical typing, whatever it is. Yeah, that's probably what it is. We're gonna do musical typing. And I can actually play out the notes that I want here using my keyboard on my laptop. So this is especially helpful if you have a piano background. If you don't have a piano background, that's totally okay. We're gonna get into like music theory and more of how you can make cool sounding melodies and beats without much music theory background later in videos in this series. For now, um, I'll just either experiment with this or here's the other way that you can do it. This is a little bit more complicated. We're not gonna get into this one as much today. We'll get into it a little bit. You can also right click and hit create MIDI region. We'll drag this out across four bars here. That's what these little lines indicate here. It's just a measure. And then if you double click on this, Boom, boom, double click, it opens up this menu. You can also click up here if you want. And then this is called your piano, piano roll, or it's kind of like a musical grid. So then by, um, you got some tools up here and one of them is a pencil tool. So if you just hit command, switches over to that pencil tool and then you can actually program in notes. Let's listen to that melody. Yeah, so programming in the right notes is honestly what's gonna take up the majority of your time, but that's another what, way that you can do it. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick with simple simplicity. We're gonna just play something out. I'm gonna be playing in the key of C, which means basically I'm just not gonna play any of these. any of these black keys. I'm just gonna play the white keys. Found two chords that I like and I wanna record it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this record button. Because I have these two buttons selected here, the one, two, three, four, and this little metronome thing, you're gonna hear a clicking noise. That's gonna help me keep the time, keep the tempo. Again, we'll get into more of the music theory side in later videos. But for now, just know that the clicking is keeping me on time and it's gonna help me out. So I'm gonna hit this record button. So now we have this pad sound. If we double click on this, 
we can see some of these notes aren't hitting perfectly on time. This line here represents the time and these notes are not on it. So we could just drag them all into place. That's totally fine and that works. But something that's way quicker is if we select this, we come over here to our little information tab, which we can open by clicking on it. If we hit quantize. We're gonna quantize it to a, a quarter note. Um, music theory, still coming, coming later. If we just quantize it like that, then we actually have everything just snap into place, which is way quicker. So there we go, pad layer done. create another empty channel strip here honestly software instruments especially when you're starting out probably best to just do a lot of those that's how I learned really quick and just by cycling through you can learn what kind of sounds you like which you don't like as much um, and it can really just help as you're you're figuring out what even these different instruments are so um, we can head in let's head over to the world section See if there's anything crazy that we can pull out right here. Chinese Ruan Moon guitar. I have no idea what that is. Interesting. That's kind of cool. And yeah, we're just playing the notes on it. Kind of a cool instrument there, Chinese ear violin. So let's lay down another part with that. Same process, we're gonna click on it and quantize uh, to a quarter note again. So we've got these two sounds now. If we come over into this menu right here, clicking again on the top, these, these menus are all, you can open and close them as you like. But this one with the knobs is how we're gonna adjust the tone of this violin. Because right now it sounds just a little, a little interesting, which is kind of the point but we want it to sit in the mix a little bit better. So we'll just play with these knobs right now. Sounds a lot better to me already. Um, with the knobs, it's it's kind of one of the more fun parts of music production, honestly. You can just play with stuff until it's sitting where you like it. Deep sub bass. This one's a go-to for me, honestly. I still use it all the time. Play a little bass line. to the quarter note. If we 
come down here, we have more controls over here. Let's select. So now that I'm listening to this bass line and thinking it sounds pretty good, um, I kind of like another instrument that plays the same line. So to copy tracks, it's really easy. It's the same way you copy anything in a Mac. You can hold down Option on your keyboard, select the track, drag it down. Boom, we have a whole new track. It's the same exact track. But what we need to do is select a different sound for it. So I'm gonna come over here. Kind of was picturing like a string line, you know, like some cellos. So let's see how this sounds. Getting a mess with the knobs. So this is a great foundation to a song. We've just layered some things together. Now you're probably thinking, okay, but we're not gonna just loop this over and over, right? Well, I totally forgot to mention this earlier too, but the thing I was using to loop this is the cycler, and you can activate it by hitting this, but it's this yellow thing at the top of the timeline, and you can drag it over whatever section you want, make it smaller or bigger. Yeah, it's a useful tool when you're just repeating a section over and over like I just was. Or you can press C, turn it on and off. All right, once again, we've got a cool section that's happening at the beginning, liking it. We need to duplicate it out though because we want another section where we bring in the drums. And so, again, we're gonna select all these instruments by just clicking, dragging over them. Hit Option, click on it, drag all these instruments over. Boom, we've got another section. So now it's gonna play from the beginning here. And maybe I don't want the space in here. I'm just gonna delete out of the first section. And then we'll have the bass come in with the drums. Right here. Yeah. So once again, we're gonna create an empty channel strip. And we're gonna just head into a drum kit. So tons and tons of drum machines, honestly, to go through for this. There is a way to make a custom sounding drum kit, but since there's so many options already, just within Logic, I would recommend just taking what they give you and messing around until you get something you like. Once again, the way that we play our drums is just the keyboard here. You got your drum sounds loaded in. Um, if they're not playing, then sometimes you have to jump up or down an octave, which you can do just by selecting the right octave. The octave is like just below the middle. So if the middle, well, yeah, it's right. So if the middle's here, you're right here, slightly below it. Let's record this part. Once more, we're gonna quantize. This time, I know that the values that I was playing were quicker than the other melodies I've played so far. So instead of quarter note, the one fourth note, we're gonna choose an eighth note is what this is called. That should snap it right to where I want it. Perfect. Let's create another drum track. Go electric drum set. There's one in here I like. I already know it. I've used it quite a bit. Laser battle. This one's cool. Cool. 
quantize it again this time to 16th oh sorry i forgot to explain what i was doing for a second there just got two in a, in the moment you know um you can record over a track so for example i just made this track with the hi-hats and i can actually i'm able to record more instruments to it so um if i just record this hi-hat part right but if i want to add a little kick part kick and snare I'm able to record right onto that other track and you don't, you don't have to worry about it most of the time. I'm pretty sure if you leave this cycle turned on, you should be good. So hit R record. And honestly, that's pretty good for a beginner track. We've gone into our sound selection. We've messed around with layering, quantized things together. Uh, we came up with melodies, learned how to actually start making sound and making music for the first time. So um, hopefully it was helpful to you. And if this video was helpful and informative, I'd love to know. So let me know in the comments what was helpful, if there's anything that uh, I could go in depth on more. Any other way I could be useful or helpful to you, I'd love to know. Because I'm here to serve you as you're entering onto this exciting music making journey. And whatever information I can bring to you, I hope is useful and valuable to your life. I'm going to see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>